So I am here with the COO of Mons Royale. Ben, thank you so much for being with us today. Why was there a need for a company like Mons Royale? So Mons Royale is a merino clothing company and we create uh, merino apparel for the action sports market and we're based down in Wanaka, New Zealand. And our founder was an athlete in the world tour. He kind of saw what was missing is people having a, a brand that they could be passionate about that was their base layer. So we felt there was a real opportunity there to bring the real fashion forward sense and a real fearlessness to base layer. Yeah. Until talking with you, I never thought about my long underwear. And then I met Mons Royale and we started talking with you guys. I was like, yeah, why isn't this cute? This should be cute. What are some specific challenges you faced um, within the retail industry? The tricky thing in the retail industry, when you're especially working with Merino, is there's long lead times for supply chain. Mm -hmm. So we're planning um, with farmers what wool they're going to have available in two or three years' time. So to manage all of that complexity can be incredibly tough. Yeah. Because um, you're talking about colors for three years away, you're talking about wool for six years away, you're planning yarn for next month's production. I mean, you're talking about, you know, thinking about wool um, three years from now. Do you see seasons affect that. So at the moment there's a drought in Australia and that's affecting the quality of wool that they're going to produce this year. So certainly from my side of the business one of the biggest challenges has just been how do you get that planning, how do you get that integrated supply chain. How do you as a brand, especially in such an oversaturated industry like retail, how do you stand out? Um, you know for me it comes back to this idea that you can have style and performance. <laughs> uh, you'd wear the same garment traveling, get off a plane in Munich, go skiing in Austria, you know wow. you're two hours later in the same garment without yeah. needing to change. I mean, that's a pretty cool way to live your life. One of the challenges we talk a lot about on GrowWire is this idea of e-commerce versus brick and mortar, physical store presence. It's, it's tricky and I think that you see pockets of people really doing it right. I think when you're a, a passionate brand like we are, it's always good to have some physical presence that you can have a really tactile expression of yourself. Um, but then also we understand the absolute importance of, of improving you know, our direct consumer experience and getting to know the people who we design for. Mm -hmm. And so that's exciting for us because we're small enough that we can respond to you know, a traditional business model in bricks and mortar and wholesale distribution. And we're also you know, doing some great work in the direct to consumer over the next few years. Where do you see the future of outerwear and retail moving? We see that people want to have really ethically sourced natural product, you know, natural fibers throughout all the equipment they buy. And we see that people want to have a really high level of accountability with brands that we're sourcing ethically and our manufacturing is correct. And um, then they also want to have style when they want it in their way. And so there's a lot of personalization that will happen as well. So we're just looking at how do we keep true to the brand, but also evolve as we watch our consumer and, and what they're needing from us. And, and we'll respond as it, as it comes up. Very cool. Well, we can't wait to see where you go.